Uh, we are to discuss a fantastic uh, project which is open discovery space. And uh, while coming here, and it's a great pleasure for me, I remember that uh, it is a kind of witness today of what has been a long journey. I remember that the first time at EU level we addressed the issue of new technologies, the ICT use for education and training, it was 30, year, 30 years ago. In 1985, it was a moment when uh, some people in uh, DigiConnect designed what became the, pro the program Delta, the application of telecommunication technologies to the field of education and learning. Then, 10 years after, so we are in 1995, there was a different initiative which started to mingle research, policy and regulation. Some people might remember it as the educational multimedia software. The thing that is interested with this initiative is the fact that at that time it involved two commissioners, Mrs. Cresson and Mr. Bangeman, four DGs, DG3, today DG Grow, DG12, today DG RTD, DG13, my DG, DG Connect, and DG22, today DG EAC. And there were also six programs, different programs. Probably there is a lesson to draw from that. We only succeed because the educational multimedia software has been a success. We can only succeed if we join up, if we break the silos, if we destroy the walls that prevent us to share the knowledge we have and to create new knowledge by combining the ones that exist at a given moment in different silos. And this was the first time 20 years ago when it was done in the field of education and training. I may say we could regret that since then it was only done once for a European Innovation Partnership on uh, uh, healthy uh, aging, active and healthy aging, only twice in 20, in 20 years. I think we have to draw the lesson from that because we only win if we are all of us together. If we combine the people, the talents, the institutions, the programs, it is very very essential to do that. And in fact, when I look back to the questions we had 20, 20 years ago, I find that they were more or less the same as the ones we have today. What has changed? A few things, yes, because we are not at the same time. At that time, some people could say, oh, we have experts and they tell us that we should do this and we should do that. Now this is not enough. It's still there, but it is not enough. What we have learned over the last few years is that whatever process we need to put in place in order to succeed in the field of e-learning, it has to be done through a process of co-creation. We are all in this together. We, are, we also learned that we have to extend our design of how to use the, te the technologies to the domain of education and training by uh, not only thinking about education or training, but also about the skills. We need to expand the skills, the skills of the pupils, the skills of the teachers, the skills of all the stakeholders that have to take part in the work. So these are the main concepts that we have learned over the years, to be open, to be inclusive, a participatory process, and of course this commitment and dedication to always see at best how we can apply the new technologies that evolve to the field in order to make that in some years hopefully the dream of 20 years ago will be fulfilled, that is every school will be connected, every pupil will be connected.